gonna try to be brief with going over the debug console window in the Arma 3 editor without any mods whatsoever, just a vanilla debug console scripting. So a lot of people like to use CPA because it has a bigger debug console window to type into, which is one of its best pros, honestly. And then on, on top of that, it also saves a, a good history of blocks of code you've executed in the debug console uh, up to like, I think it's 30 or more. Whereas in the default vanilla Arma 3 console, there actually is no buttons to cycle between the his, you know previous or next commands we've executed in the debug console, aside from holding down shift and pressing the page down and page up keys. And even then it only saves nine blocks of code. Pretty shitty. So that becomes a pain in the ass. And when you're trying to execute big blocks of code, like I said, it's kind of hard to edit big blocks of code with this tiny little window trying to decipher where you're going to make edits and additions to. So a better way to do that or go about it is to make sure you just have a script open instead. This is where you do all your coding and then you just simply copy and paste it in here. And then you execute it and you and then you you tweak it within your script file, not in the debug console, just because this window if you're not using CPA or any other add-ons that make your debug console better, it's better to just use this, the script uh, script tool that you're using. But with that said, we could do three things here. We could locally execute stuff, which means execute the code only on our machine. Only our computer will be executing the code. We can globally execute it or server execute it if we're connected to a server or if we're hosting a server. So for example, if I go in here, go to play and multiplayer, we're gonna get access to two buttons, the global and server button. When we press escape in the game, we'll have access to this debug console, which by the way, you get access to this debug console by going into tools in the editor and hitting the debug console, or just by pressing the tilde key in the editor. You can also access this in the uh, splendid camera, as well as when you're connected as an admin to a multiplayer mission or a single player mission, as long as that mission allows debug consoles. Some missions disallow it. Normally you'll see that in like public server missions, I think, but for the most part, you'll usually have access to this debug console as an admin. Now that we have this window open, we have access to global execute and server execute. What global execute does is it will execute any code I put in here on every single client connected as well as a server. So it'll execute on me, my friend Bob, and on the server if Bob's connected. If I'm the server host, then it'll, it doesn't actually matter. For server execute, if I'm the server host, this will execute on me. It's similar, it's the same exact thing as local execute. So if you're client hosting, server execute and local execute, pretty much the same fucking thing because you're the host, you're the server, you're local, it's the same thing. If it's a dedicated server, if you're connected to a dedicated server and you start typing code in here and you're executing it on the server, then your dedicated server is going to be executing this code. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, that's pretty much about it. Uh, you got to be careful with global execute though. I wouldn't recommend just going in there and doing set damage one, you know, to everybody. It's one that's fucking gay. But it will also be mindful, like in more realistic terms, when you're executing code, like do clients really need to know this or that? Does every client really need to execute this, this code or should just the, ex the server be executing that? There's a lot of things you gotta balance out. That's a whole th another subject. Another thing is that there is a I button here and a question mark button here. The I button signifies the information you can obtain through the scripting wiki. It takes you straight to the scripting section I like to click on the scripting commands area, and this is the holy grail of scripting. All the commands in the game. Great. Useful. If you do not know about this or have it in your favorites, do it now, because you need this to become a better scripter. Additionally, the question mark icon is for the BI forums. Just click on that. As long as you have a forum account, you can create a thread or add on to someone else's thread. You can ask for help, provide help, or re you know, post a release of one of your scripts that you've worked on here. Whatever, you don't have to do anything, but it's there. And that's that. And then last thing is these watch commands. You have one, two, three, four blocks you put in here. So this is basically a real time tracker of certain conditions that you apply in here. So for example, damage player will track my damage. So if I take damage, let's do players. Oh, back. You can see my, my damage is 0 0.3, and it's tracking that. So it's going to track a few other things. Let's do player. And you can see it's updating with information. 
can also do speed player, which actually that's not going to be helpful, but you get the idea. Right now this is counting, and this one right here is counting how many agents are not null and how many units are not null. So there's no agents, and it's just me and the server. So what I could do is I could create some agents. Let's try to do something like this. And you can see we got four agents now and one unit, and it updated real time right there. So very useful to have. I recommend you try to get into using that and figure it out a little bit. It's very helpful when you're trying to test stuff real time in a multiplayer or single player situation. That's pretty much about it. If you have any questions about the debug console, just ask them in the comment section and I will be glad to help you. If you like the video, great, like it. If you didn't like the video, then go fuck yourself and thumbs down the video, you ungrateful fucking bastard. Frank out.